Do you ever miss games with blistering, fast-paced combat? Where stylish gameplay and perfectly timed combos is what makes or breaks the game? I sure do, especially lately, where it seems that all hack and slash titles have become more Souls-like experiences. Elden Ring, Liza P, Lord of the Fallen, the list goes on and on and on. Where's Ninja Gaiden? Where's Devil May Cry? No one knows where a ninja goes. Is it just me? Is it just me that misses games that offer this lightning, fast-paced, bloody, violent combat systems we used to get in titles like this? Instead of doing barrel rolls around a boss and trying to time a parry so we could counterattack, I used to do insanely awesome moves like delimiting enemies with a brutal obliteration technique. <laughs> Or how about getting that satisfying pop when you saw a head explode from an Azuna drop? Or sidestepping some of those ninja moves for a second and getting more of a traditional wrestling style moveset. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is that? What is that game? I don't recognize that game. What could this be? Well, in comes the Ninra, Demon Core. An upcoming indie game that is inspired by titles like Ninja Gaiden, Devil May Cry, or your just traditional old school God of War titles. Finally! Now I know what you're thinking, what is Ninra Demon Core? What is the combat actually like? Does it have a release date? Will it come to consoles? Will it ever come out? Ever? We'll stop right there. Because recently the developer had an interview answering all of these questions and giving us a ton of information on this game. So without further ado, let's dive into this. So what is the Ninra Demon Core? Long story short, it's a third person action game. No, it's not over the shoulder, it's a traditional third person action game. With the flow of combat and enemy behavior that's mainly inspired by Ninja Gaiden with a touch of DMC. It's set in a cyberpunk world where every person is born with one of these demon cores. These cores grant individuals unique supernatural abilities. Some people are as fast as lightning, while others have underdeveloped cores and can barely activate them. Talk about your bad luck. The game uses a combo meter that will unlock additional moves in mid gameplay. Apparently, the idea behind this is to force the player to use both offensive and defensive combos. Sort of like giving each playstyle an actual purpose. Think of it like this. The combo ranking system has, from DMC has been replaced with a combo meter. But instead of just letting you know your rank per enemy encounter and simply giving you a score at the end of each fight, the game will have new abilities and moves unlocked depending on how well you're performing. So when you do take damage, the combo meter is lost and it goes back to zero. So I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, I'm really not sure how this is going to work. If the combo meter is used simply to, let's say, unlock a special or super ability, that's one thing. But if entire movesets are locked behind this mechanic, I think it's gonna piss a lot of people off. Plus I fear for new players, this is gonna be a major turnoff. Every time you make a mistake or get hit, it's gonna be rage inducing. Though to be fair, it does seem as if the developer is taking player test feedback into an account. For example, during Steam Fest, he found some players were struggling with the lock-on system. So the devs switched instead of focusing on a lock-on system and went with a lock-off system. More of a free-flow style of combat, much like we see in the Batman Arkham series. I'm Batman. Which I think is pretty cool, because zipping grown enemies and busting out awesome combos and attacks felt great in the Arkham series. So the fact that this game is going to be a mashup of Ninja Gaiden, Devil May Cry, and Arkham City is awesome. And it's nice to see the developer actually taking player feedback into an account, especially while they're developing the game and not trying to fix things post-launch. I mean, even the unarmed combat was added due to a fan request. So yes, not only are you able to use different weapons and battle stances, you could just simply punch your enemies in the face. And let's not forget about those crazy wrestling moves. Oh, 
Okay, okay. So what about that release date? I mean, the game looks cool, but how many times have we seen a game that looks cool that never actually comes out? Well, the good news is the developer is targeting a late 2024 or early 2025 release. So if everything goes smoothly, we may get our hands on the final product sooner rather than later. And on top of that, it won't just be PC players. As the developer has said, the game will definitely be released on consoles, which is great. The more people that get to play cool games like this, the better. And if you guys are interested in learning more about the weapon variety or the lore behind the game, I actually have another video on the channel where I go over these topics in greater detail. So be sure to check that out. And let me know about other upcoming action games that you guys are interested in down in the comments below. By the way, if you made it this far and did enjoy the video, let me know by dropping a like. And if you are new, please consider subscribing. As for me, I got a ton of work to do, so I'm going to get back to the grind and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.